Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install latest Power BI desktop on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on Windows 10 also. First go to Microsoft.com. Then click on All Microsoft. Then Free Downloads and Security. See here, Top Download Center Categories. Windows, Office, Xbox and Games. So click on Office. See here, the second one is Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Click on it. Before downloading, see the system requirements. Supported operating systems are Windows 10, Server 12, Windows 8, 8.1, Server 16, 2019, 11. And it requests Internet Explorer 10 or greater. See, the latest version is 2.129. And the file name we have the desktop setup.exe and x64. This is the size. Okay, so select the language and click on download. Now select the if it is x86, select x86, then click on download. See, download started. Go to downloads. See, the size is 489 megabytes. I'm cancelling this one because I have already downloaded Power BI desktop exe file. Okay. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then go to Downloads directory, double click on Power BI Desktop Setup.exe file. Double click on it, then select the language, then click on Next. Then click on Next. Select this checkbox, I accept terms in the license agreement. Then click on Next. And this will be the and this will be the location for Power BI desktop files and folders. If you want to change, click on change. I'm okay with the default one, then click on next. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, you have to keep the checkbox as it is. Otherwise, uncheck it and click on install. So, I'm okay with that one. If you click on install, it starts the installation. Click on install. See, installation has been started. See, we have successfully installed Power BI. See here the checkbox. If you want to launch the Power BI desktop, you have to keep the checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck it and click on finish. Now, go to, see here, we have the Power BI desktop. If you go to all applications. See here, we have the Power BI desktop. Click on Power BI desktop. See, this is the Power BI Consoler window. If you click on Home. If you want to connect database or if you want to open Excel file, you have to click on Open Excel file. If you want to get data from other sources, click on it. See, this is the dashboard. Here, cancel it. See, here we have the first one, Report View, data, Table View or Data View, Model View and Dash Query View. Okay. And these are the visualization options like bar chart, area chart, stacked area chart, pie chart, donut chart and we have the n number of options. Suppose if you want to import CSV data, click on this drop down, then select the CSV. See here we have the text or CSV. Click on it, go to downloads, see I have the sales records, click on it, open it. See. The first one is the column name and these are the data. Click on load. If you are okay with all these settings, see data type detection, it has detected based on the first 200 rows and click on load. If we expand this data sales records, we have to check the check boxes. See, once we select, it will add. Okay. But we haven't selected the any visualization model. Let me delete this one. Now so click on this pie chart. Now select the country. See, it has added the all country information. Okay, this is the. See, we got the beautiful report. Okay, click on line chart. See, if you want to check it, it will be gone. So, this is the way. To connect to CSV file, we go home, click on, if you want to save, click on save, otherwise cancel it. If you want to connect SQL server, you have to click on SQL server. 
or you want to connect post trace equal here search for post trace equal or simply select the database see here we have the post trace equal database click on connect then provide the server name server name is localhost then provide the database let us verify See, I have the sales database, then give the database name, then advanced options. If you want to run the SQL statements, you can run. Give the port number 5432. Click on OK. Then provide the username. Username is Postgres. Provide the password. Then click on connect. See, this database contains these objects or tables. Select all, select whatever the tables you want. Click on load. See, we have loaded all the objects. Now, if you go to this report view we can get this palette or this visualization options okay in the same way if you want pie chart double click on it then if you want to check the orders select the order customs see and if you want to check the order status okay this is the status like completed pending processing pending if you want to see more information yeah pending payment okay these are the options this is the percentage of the this column values okay if you want to run queries select here we can run the queries okay we run the queries and we can get the results here okay. select it see this is the sample query select it and run it see we got the output okay if you go to the report view this is the report view okay in the same way if you want to connect sql server you have to click on sql server if you want to connect mysql see mysql is not showing click on more then click on database then see here don't have the mysql then search for mysql and hit enter click on more see here we have the mysql select it and click on connect okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install latest power bi desktop edition 2.129 on windows 11 operating system then we have seen how to connect to data sources like csv data postgresql data mysql server and other information then we have seen how to create the sample by chart then we have seen how to run the queries against the data for more power bi videos please subscribe my channel thank you